the Wiz would have been yelling out, look at me, look at me. <laughs> probably never got as big as Greg Norman, but uh, well, I guess he was hands. probably Australian Rules' first truly national football star. Bounce to start the second half, 29-point lead to the Sydney Swans. The 1-2, Fosdyke gave it, got it back. Creswell. Barry Hall's going to break into the centre. Oh, he's gone the other way. And it's in Hall's direction. He flies. Good thump away by Mal Michael. Goods over it. And is it Bradshaw on yes. Adam Goods? So Bradshaw in defence, which is a foreign position to him. Well, he wasn't getting much of the footy up forward. They're going to have to uh, throw their side around as they did just prior to the half-time break. Lepi just started again up in the forward line with Voss and Lynch is also in the goal square. They've got to get some winners around the ball, though. In the shadows of the members' heart. Handball out to Brad Scott. High kick, Saddington. Good fly, good fist though. And the ball out of play off the fist of Lepic. We'll get a ball in. 29 points the margin. Early stages, third term. Criswell doesn't have an opponent here. And he'll get it. Ball. Didn't he have one have. for a second. Tried to get it out. Brad Scott stole it. Handball to Black. From the wing, high kick. Lepic and Saddington again. Both got a fingernail on it. Good tackle laid on Barry. Well played by Voss. Free kick. It'll go Voss's way for being legs. Good competition that one then. Great tackle. Desperation. Stood up to it too, Leo Barry. Kept his composure and just went rigid through the body and made Voss really take it. To the goal square. High kick. Swan's getting numbers back. Saddington won't grab. Not the second danger here. Williams averts it. Gets caught. Handball out. Maxfield back to Williams. Nodding came at him, tried to smother. Ball, a terrible bounce for ball by the ball. Handball by Fosdyke to Kirk. Half back flag, Creswell. He does not have an opponent, Darren Creswell, at the moment. Brisbane are trying to get their own match up, so they're playing two on one elsewhere. Matthews towards play. Schneider. What a beautiful gather. Inside 50, drop putt. That is sensational. That's seriously good. I thought he was a chance, he, he had to kick it in the end because O'Loughlin gave a definitive lead, a fantastic lead which he would have gobbled up, but that was some seriously good play and some brilliant talent by this kid. He has been just what the Swans needed, a small coming forward. Nick Davis has come into the side, but uh, Snyder's the one getting all the headlines. Because he's kicking uh, plenty of goals, and uh, that's a particularly good one. Chris Johnson there, no opponent, Dermot. I think he may be at the other end, who is just uh, allowing them that one extra midfielder. Turns 19 tomorrow, Adam Schneider. And that's a good birthday present, that scoreline at the moment. Plenty of football to be played, and a free kick out of the middle will go the Lions' way. Charman. Held up. Still bright sunshine here at the SCG. They were predicting a bit of rain. High inside 50. The leapers go up. Saddington jump from four deep. Canelli fires out the handball. Stolen by Voss. Handball to Chris Scott. Ducked into a tackle. The umpire said play on. Off hands. Picked up by Notting. Goes toward goal. Instant reply to the Lions. Tim Notting's the one who could do some real damage here as the leper and Matthew's having a go. Yeah, a bit of fun. Yeah, now Timmy Notting, he's back out there onto the wing now. Hasn't had a, a lot of it today. But he's the kind of bloke that'll get a match-up, which he might be able to kick three goals in a half a footy and just give him the kick start. Only three possessions for the game. Spent a lot of time on the bench cool. again. And you see two younger boys having a go, but then the older head comes mm. through and says, if you're going to punch an old, well-lived-in one, <laughs> it may as well be mine. That's leadership. And speaking of the bench, Jason Ackerman is starting the quarter on the bench. Ball tries to get the take away. Chris Scott couldn't. Fosdyke caught. Hart lays the tackle with Black. And once again, Brad Scott with a little push on Canelli. And the umpire might sort this out with a free here. No, he'll sort it out with a bounce. Chris Scott took a hit. Still going on. The umpire <laughs> trying to thread his way through. Took a hit, Jason Ball, just off the uh, off the contest a second ago. Yeah, good effort. Didn't have a lot of room for a good bounce, so bounced it 
In average strike. Uh, Lepic to... gets one for too high. Crowd don't like it. Not many Brisbane supporters here in his short passes. Brad Scott inside 50, going for two in a row to the Lions, and it gets there. You can see what's about to happen. Sydney have been so good at getting those extra numbers to the back of the pack inside defensive 50. The last two goals have come from little sideways kicks short to the half forward flank. So they're just edging around the sides of the bulk of the Sydney numbers. You're going to find that Brisbane are about to start going short where they normally always bomb the goal square where Lynch contests and they crumb. They're about to change their plan. Just a minute ago of actual playing time, Adam Schneider pushed the margin out to 35 points, the biggest of the game so far. It's been cut back to 23. Ball up in the middle. Power gets the takeaway. Lepic and Saddington. Lepic starting to find it. Saddington found him then. Ball. Well tackled. Looping handball over the top from Saddington as we see a replay of the good tackle. High kick towards Hall. Off hands, diving through Hart. Desperation. Ashcroft wide to Notting, back to Hart. Schneider corrals him. High kick towards half forward, chance for the Leopards. Leopards! Dishes off, wastes no time. Voss inside 50. Lynch! Can make it three in three minutes. Well, haven't uh, found a player to take inside or marks inside 50 for the first half and all of a sudden with Lepic going there but more importantly the ball coming in quickly they're, uh, they're isolating the Swans defenders and they've turned the tables clearly what's got to happen for the Swans to remain competitive they've got to stay competitive in midfield has kicked one Ooh, made the this. goal umpire do some work he's got it So a dramatic change has come on over the ground and over the game because uh, the Swans are being beaten through the middle of the ground and uh, Dermot, it, it just completely changes the, uh, the whole outlook on the match. It does, but the Sydney Swans, you already see, they just run into defence now and they sort of just blob themselves there, you know. They're not working as hard. Well, they've been they're going off five, six minutes this quarter, but you can already see the work rate slack off. Three and three minutes for the reigning Premier. And Paul Roos has uh, made a change. He's got uh, Bolton onto Lepic and Saddington's gone forward. Good for Charman in the ruck. Will knock down to Barry. Hands off to Fosdyke. Kicks toward attacking. 50 diving. Good mark taken by Paul. Wasn't intended for him, but he's in front. He read the longer carry of the ball. With Goods in the ruck, it allowed him to position himself up forward and... Good move by Paul Roos, could have taken him off. Played a lot of footy at centre half forward for the West Coast Eagles in the early 90s, so he's no slouch when it comes to shooting at goals. It's out of the shadows of the members' pavilion, across the face, and through for a behind. You call that the Swans have to be competitive still in the uh, middle of the ground, Jared. Ruck clearances this quarter. There's been seven from the centre bounce and Sydney have only won two, Brisbane Lions have got five away. Chris Johnson has had a few problems kicking in from fullback today. Goes wide with the kick, well measured pass, mark taken by Chris Scott. Held up at halfback. Chip kick Lappin. Jude Bolton couldn't get there in time to attempt to spoil Lappin. Called to play on as you could hear in the effects mark. High towards the wing. Ball slapped off hands. Another battle here. Lepic might win it. Gets there in time. Uses the body. Ball gets to Brad Scott. Over the top. Looking for power. Lays the tackle on. Barry. Good front on tackle. And the umpire will sort it out with the bounce. Well, had a goal written all over it there. But uh, Brad Scott just overcooked a handball. Now, this is a really intelligent tackle here. Luke Power just avoids bringing the player down on himself by turning him uh, in mid-flight, not giving away a free kick. Bounce, good does the ruck work. Fosdyke caught by Voss, and the tackling has improved in this quarter for the Lions. Brisbane 
did defeat the Swans in their pre-season clash in the Wizard Cup. Ackermanis, who had an awful first half. Two possessions only. Now there's a blood rule here. Lepic being forced from the field. A little one over the right-hand side of the lip. Just a little flinch uh, as he goes past. Oh, it's bleeding. It's a bit of pie yeah. sauce in the corner of the mouth. It's not, a go it's not off his tucker either, Leper. Pretty handy on the tooth. It's about to walk past Anthony Mithin on the boundary. He coming off with just a nick on the side of the mouth there. Jason Ackermanis has had some work done too on his right groin. See Ak uh, Lepic there mm. just copping one high. He got the free kick for that, obviously. And uh, yeah, I don't it's think wild. that's the reason though Ackermanis is spending time on the bench. Lions with three goals in a row and the ball inside. They're attacking 50 power. Tried to throw it out in Voss's direction. Big pack around this ball. Freeing himself from the contest. Brad Scott to Charman. Spins around but is caught with a tackle. And sprays it out of bounds on the full. And this is where the Sydney Swans in the first half were so effective. Woods has sneaked away already. They were so effective at just going sideways. And as we get the wider shot, you see the numbers are down the line there. That's where Brisbane want them to play to. Ben Matthews, back pocket. Almost committed to a side, the Swans. Because of the way he's tucked into that post. High kick. Lynch the leaper. Good score by Fosdyke with Black stolen. Brad Scott. Pike. Left foot kick high. And hoping. Swans have the numbers. Nodding leaps and plucking it over the top. Jordan. That's some confidence. That was brave. Because they had the run on. Kick to the outer side by Maxfield. Oh, Looking clever. for Davis. Ball knocked down Ashcroft. Pike rewarded Ashcroft for the work. Gave it back to him. Chris Scott back to Ashcroft again. Spearing ball straight to Goods. Yeah, he undid the good work there. His spoil actually directed towards his teammate on the initial play there by Chopper Ashcroft. Ashcroft the first Queenslander to play 300. His 300th this afternoon even though he's played 331 games in total in what's been a stellar career. Well if they got the line they've got a uh, play at efficiency because they've got their Ruckman there, the Brisbane Lions. Davis down the line and high. Saddington floats back. Ball to the back of the pack. Williams and Hart. Williams wins out. Brennan caught him. O'Loughlin almost a throw. Umpire said it was. Well, we'll get a post look on replay, but the umpires rarely get that one wrong. Chris Scott runs into trouble. He's gone. No, got the handball away just in time. Some leniency from the umpire. Hart wide to Pike from the wing. High kick. Voss one on one with Barry. Well played by both. Barry's over it. Voss has got him. Ball comes out nicely. Maxfield. Goods back inside the corridor. Kirk. Matthews tucked into the pocket. High kick. Charman with the set. Good mark. All of a sudden, the pressure that Brisbane have applied are making Bris uh, Sydney pick the wrong option. Matthews had to go up the middle of the ground there. There were three free Swans players, and yet he kicked it long conservatively but straight to Brisbane. It's Chris Johnson who's a more accurate kick of the ball and he finds Lappin wants to get the Lions inside 50. He does with a high kick. Lynch has got a couple to beat. Good's a big thump. Lynch might get a free. Oh, this makes it game on. Well, it gives Brisbane a genuine sniff of the victory when you get within just a couple of goals. Mm. And there's the free kick. It was slack. It was only just there but the defenders just don't need to do that he knows he's got good behind him coming with the support I think Lynchy helped just help the umpire make his mind <laughs> up <laughs> he's played more AFL VFL games than any other Tasmanian player in history he has two goals Alistair Lynch puts it through for his third four goals in a row to start this half for the Lions Well, it's a question of now of uh, the Swans just resetting themselves in the middle of the ground. They've got to get the pressure off their back line and they've got to start uh, putting the pressure back on the Swans on the Brisbane back line. Ball out of the centre is imperative. Brisbane Lions just two goals from the lead now. 
15 minutes elapsed in this third term from the middle. Crouch gets the takeaway, kicks it wide. The race is on. Michael V. Hall, and Michael wins out. Ball out of play. Let's go down to Anthony Mithen. Yeah, Justin Lepich has headed to the rooms. A nastier cut than we first suspected. Might need a stitch or two. Lee Matthews, even though he's still adrift by a couple of goals here on the scoreboard, he's playing the game he wants now. He's got seven to eight backmen dragging opponents with them into uh, Sydney's forward line and a four-man forward line for himself, which keeps it open and free. Hall to Kirk. Ball bounced very unkindly for O'Loughlin. Coming through Hart. Brad Scott. Brad Shaw. Boundary line and Hart. Keeps it alive. Disguised it beautifully. Ball rolls out of play. Dermot, I know Jason uh, Ball has played up on the forward line and uh, Goody Two Shoes is, is uh, you know, an athletic ruckman, but I reckon when you play ball in the forward line, it gives Brisbane someone to match up on, whereas if you play goods there, no one can match up on him. And, and he pushes forward up the ground. Well, he, he might actually need a rest at some stage, and you rest him in the forward line. It just keeps throwing them out still. Paul Roos is looking quite calm despite this situation. Power towards the wing. Pike. Can he find a target on the left foot? Kick half smothered. Well smothered by Barry. Ricochets to Craig Bolton. Barry again. Boundary line. Chris Scott cuts it off. Goods is back there, he doesn't want to release it. Corralled by Canelli, gets it to Pike. Caught by Fosdyke, that's holding the ball. Did he get a boot on it? Voss had it. Bolton picks it up, Craig. Now Schneider, high kick. Barry Hall's on the lead. Oh, Got good it. hands. What a beautiful pair of hands there. And gutsy effort, Chris Johnson too. Backing into the uh, path of Barry Hall was standing out to uh, <laughs> backing into Plugger's path, but uh, he did it well. Great mark to Barry Hall. Oh, death tackling there. But watch Barry Hall. When he puts the hands on it, the whole body turns with the pressure. Just keeps two hands on it all the way. Courageous by Johnson, no it's doubt about that. Of Johnson going back there. Yeah. But death a better option than dishonour at this stage of a game. In the eyes of Lee Matthews it is, because you'll get one or the other eventually. Hall only his second kick for the match. Just misses to the near side. few young Barry Halls in the making. It's Mother's Day. And Chris Johnson to bring the ball back into play. Lee Matthews likes him to mix it up. Doesn't want them to come become too predictable from the kick-ins and that's unpredictable. It's a mark right on the boundary line by Jared Brennan. Forced to kick over the mark. High kick. Under it, ball over the top, ball knocked down. Maxfield missed the target with the handball. Canelli caught in a good wrap around tackle and will get a ball up. Inside the centre square, eight and a half minutes remaining, third term. Ty Canelli slowly getting to his feet. It was emergency seven times in this Sydney Swans lineup before finally playing his first game, which was against Carlton. Lepich on the bench, having had that stitch inserted. Ball up, Matthews caught by one of the Cray boys, Chris Scott, on that occasion, and we'll get another ball up. Adam Goods just floating across in front of Alistair Lynch, just playing as an extra man in defence. Which maybe is reflective of the mindset in the Sydney box at the moment. Black almost to throw out to Brad Scott. Good, smaller by Criswell. Fell to Chris Scott, kicks to Foss. Yeah, now this may be no. just beyond his range. He knows it. He's kicked from further. Yeah, in the warm-up, though, there were a few players kicking uh, the goals from outside 50. I'm not sure whether the wind has dropped. It looks pretty much the same. This will no doubt test him. Will he make it, Mitho? Uh, yeah, yeah, if he hits it sweetly, he should. Uh, swirly breeze, but still favouring left of screen. Dollar, dollar against. Brother Brett played in the Saints win last night. From outside 50, loads up. Not quite the carry. And it's rushed over the boundary line. It'll be a ball in. Covered all the bets there, Mitho. Yeah. He said if he hits it sweetly, and he did it. Yep. Well done, Mitho. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. <laughs> Lepic with a bit of plaster over that cut. Itching to get on. McDonald with ball. McDonald down in Voss's direction. Craig Bolton caught. Boundary line is sanctuary. Out of play. And as you can see, Jason Ackermanis back on the ground. Lee Matthews, he'll be using the 10 minutes on the bench, I think, just as a spur, just to let him know that everyone knows you're playing a bad game, Ackert, you've got a lift. 
And Voss is the danger here, just his power around the ball. Ball, oh. Barry, Creswell, Fosdyke, boundary line or Davis. Take your pick. It's the boundary line. And we'll get a ball in on the wing. 67 plays, 54. If you have just joined us, the Swans did lead by 35 points at the start of this term. It's an area where Nick Fosdog has just got to get better. He was set free by a quick handball, and yet he was still mentally under pressure and kicked to the boundary line rather than finding a target. Goods just edged McDonald under the ball, and the umpire didn't like it. Free kick to Bo McDonald. Wants to hand off. Hasn't got many options. McGrath peels for him. Schneider does well. Well, Johnson's free. Mm. And corresponding at the other end, it'll be Goods is just behind play. Danger here. Cut off by Powell. Hands over to Schneider. He's kicked one of these already today. Goes long. Misses. Adam Schneider. Great cut off by Mark Powell. Just his second game. Local New South Wales product from this was Lavington. An interesting handball. It was there though. Good hands. Could have kept running, couldn't he? Yeah. Just could have gone all the way. Johnson toward Brennan or McDonald. McDonald takes it. Held up by Barry Hall. So Pike having a rest now for the Lions. Donald just pumps it along towards the wing. Lepic, fresh man on flies. Power and Matthews. Power does well. Handballs it in. Looking for and finding Lappin. Got to kick away somehow through traffic. Brad Scott. Tied up. Viable bounce. Jude Bolton. Can't quite break away in time and we will get a bounce just the Lions side of the wing. Ticked into time on third term. Ball. Brad Scott keeps it in. Williams, Fosdyke, Black, that's almost it is a throw. The umpire didn't see it. The crowd did. Bear in mind, Brisbane will be coming home with a couple of goal win. Not much doubt about that. Yeah. Goods has shifted back to half forward now, Jared. Donald, power, caught. Once again, the ball tied up on the wing, and Black lays the tackle, and it's a push against Simon Blackwell. Maybe he realised that he missed the Simon Black throw, so we got him with the tackle on Jude Bolton. Been effective runner for them, uh, Luke Power, in the absence of a couple of their bigger names. He's still maintaining his possession rate. McGrath and Schneider, Barry, McGrath, Schneider. Well played by the youngster. Fosdyke to Barry. Powell. Handball half cut off. McGrath. Black. They've worked it to half forward. Lepic has got a couple to beat here. Does oh. beat them all. Brilliance. On to the right foot. High inside 50. Big leap over the top, Lynch. Chris Scott's got it. Hasn't got a lot of options to kick to, so goes for the miracle. Well, he got a miracle last week when he pulled out the Peter Dacos down at uh, <laughs> yeah. Skilled Stadium. I think he might have had visions of that. Doesn't look the player to me, Bolton, to be going with Justin Lepp. It's just out of his depth. Chip in from fullback. Andrew Shawman. High kick from the back pocket towards the wing. How can he go up? He does. Can't bring the mark down. Matthews tied up and we'll get another ball up. Beautiful barbershop socks the Swans are wearing again this afternoon. You see that? Not wearing the all red, even though it's their home game. Top five disposals. Brad Scott leading. Goods coming from the ground. Just getting a rest for him for the final quarter onslaught. Setting him back, back on. Canelli off the ground. Voss off the ground. So obviously resting them for the final term, gentlemen. As they will need those two back on. Well, it's going to be Goods who you'd think would do the damage if the Swans are to hold this lead or even increase it in the last quarter. McDonald straight up in the air. Travelled 15. But it was vertical, not horizontal. Ball slapped towards Ackermanis, trying to make amends for his first half. Finds Lepic. Well read. And he may be within range. Man on the mark on 50, over the top, White, inside 50, takes the mark. As always, removes the glove before he places ball on boot. Important shot, this. 
It's super important this one. Uh, just getting that one goal close is going to make a fair difference to the confidence of both teams. Daryl White oh. across the face. That was going straight through the middle and it just hit that uh, spot where there's a gap between the grandstand and it moved it sideways. Well he only kicked it over about 22 yards and if you were a bowler and you could do that with it over 22 yards you'd pick up a few wickets. If you weren't caught for White. Because that was too wide in the end. Maxfield's kicking in touch before it travels out of play. Three minutes remaining, third term. It's almost like both teams here are just saving themselves and just don't want any more damage done. Now just wait for the last quarter, which is going to be run at a hectic pace. You would think so. All set. Check with Mitho in a minute about the breeze. The Lions coming home with the end that did have the breeze. Ha! Takes it out of play and will get another ball in on the boundary line and Hart close up to the crowd. Some young Brisbane Lion fan will get that helmet at the end of play. Sean Hart. I think the breeze, the breeze is only uh, a minor problem compared to the what's going through the heads of the Sydney Swans players. I think that Stewie Maxfield kick from full back there showed that they were uh, really just going playing negative reactive footy. Players go in, 10 pin it's bowling. Better. They all went over except Maxfield. Ball kicks mother by Noddy. Ball in the forward pocket for the Lions. Shawble. Sure hands. Jude Bolton coming all the way down to half back. O'Loughlin. Now this is where in the first uh, half they would go sideways in the back line. And once again they're just going to try the little chip. Break it up on Brisbane because they set up down the line here. They've got to come sideways. They've got to keep breaking up Brisbane. Otherwise they just pick them off. They'll just set up behind the ball. They love to get into a physical contest. Wharf side on if he can get his attention. Goes down the line. High kick. Big fly McDonald over the top. You're spot on, Dermot. That's exactly how Brisbane wants you to play. Kick it long to packs. They generally dominate the packs. And Sydney uh, showed in the first half that that's not the way they play the best. Another high kick. This time it holds up in a little bit of breeze. Chris Johnson. Tucked into the boundary line. Can they take him out? Barry helps it out with a deft deflection. And we'll get another ball in. Adam Goods stretching, preparing to come on. She's a three handy players on for mm. ground. Williams, Kennelly, and Goods. That's the running power of the Swans. Back into play. Power to Ackermanis. Takes them on on the wing. Kicks it high and off the side of the boot. And that tells the tale of his afternoon. Jason Ackermanis has a tattoo of a four-leaf clover on his shoulder and he'll need some luck in the last term of his to turn his game around. Quite as big as that gent's tattoo on his shoulder over the boundary there. Hmm. Matthews, now he hacked it long down the line about a minute ago with this option. Does it again and Brennan takes a good strong mark, Jared Brennan. Round four, great nomination for the rising star. Former Northern Territory junior captain. And really has exploded onto the scene. But it's not playing to their strengths. They rarely take pack marks, Goods and uh, O'Loughlin. But you get them one out, they're difficult to beat. Chris Scott over the top takes a good mark. Wanted to play on immediately. Inside a minute remaining. Lynch Goes with out. a high kick. Lynch caught behind. Ball over the back. Lynch down towards Aka. Can't get there. And again, that tells the tale of his day. But Akko well realises that you only need one kick sometimes to uh, turn your whole game around. As the grand final last year, best displayed. But he's in a bit of a hole and he's just going to have to work hard like every other person, be they champion or not, to uh, get himself out of it. Maxfield to Matthews. Less than 30 seconds remaining. Is this by design, do you think, Dermot, or just a byproduct of Brisbane's pressure? I, I think it's see Brisbane's it on the scoreboard, gone. actually, the, the amount of time remaining. Man on man, yeah. Brisbane have just pressed man on man, get them to play the game they want. Ball, back of the pack, black, all out of play. But having said that, Jared, that structure will change when Goods, there's a free kick on play, deliberate. When Goods comes back on, he won't allow them to go man on man because they can't get somebody to run with him from a forward perspective onto the ball at the same time. Chance for a last shot of goal, cut off by Maxfield. Oh, if Lynch could get on the end of that. 
Well, well quite clearly, been. Paul Roos will know if they try and protect this lead, they'll get done. They'll get done handsomely. They've got to get back and uh, be more creative and be proactive, Sydney. They had uh, the Brisbane Lions on the ropes and they've let them back into the game. Now they've got a very tough job if they're going to pinch the four points, Dermot. Four goal third quarter to the Brisbane Lions who are back in the hunt. They are adrift by only 11 points. Sydney, 10-8, 68. The Brisbane Lions, 8-9, 57. You're only hoping to win it. And, uh, they've got to prove to themselves as much as anybody whether or not they can come over the top. We'll wait for the first bounce of the final quarter. Goods in the ruck. Almost tend to think, Jared, you'd be better off with him at centre forward and let him drift onto the ball whenever he wants. That's it, where he's so difficult to match up. Voss and Ackerman are starting on the bench for the Lions. 11-point lead to the Swans, and they get the takeaway from the middle. High and O'Loughlin's got it! Free kick. Free kick for a push. You saw it early, Jared. Yeah, he was just sitting back in the hole, and uh, Mickey O'Loughlin just put the hands on the back and was clearly there for Bradshaw. He did accentuate it. Bradshaw, set a half back. High kick towards the wing. Big flyers go up and another push and another Lions free. Yeah, this time against Adam Goods, he was blocked by Tim Notting and he just disposed of him. Got him out of the way, there it goes. He was almost a shepherd, but the umpire didn't see it that way. Two unanswered goals and the Lions would lead. High kick to half, Ford, white flies. Saddington, Barry. Tucked into the back pocket, takes them on. Brilliant through the middle. Back to the boundary line, Shawbel. And now Saddington, he had Maxfield, goes longer towards Goods. Bounces straight to him. Maxfield again and Goods, Shepherds. Maxfield has some room. Long kick, O'Loughlin in the box seat for this one. Can't mark it. Off hands, big wraparound tackle lane. A bias set play on. O'Loughlin flies through. Schneider! The individual effort there by Mick O'Loughlin was worth replaying. Let's get another look at it. It was phenomenal. He was buffeted off the ball. He did a twist and a roll. And he still came up with a handball to Snyder. There he goes, Mick O'Loughlin. We'll have another look at it and give it another try. Here he goes, Mick O'Loughlin. He's been body slammed in the contest. Too. He was. Here he goes. This time he goes down. Still controls the ball and lays it off. Fair finish too. Four. He knew where the target was for the handball as he's being spun. Mm. Jared Brennan, where'd he go? He went straight underneath his arms and the hands. <laughs> Great performance by O'Loughlin. Oh. He has got magic. Adam Schneider said that he's struggling to make ends meet on his $47,000 base here in Sydney. But the way he's playing at the moment at 2000 a game, he'll be playing a fair few more. And we'll get a ball up in the middle. Now the Swans have got a spare man in defence. It's Ty Canelli. They always look dangerous when he starts to get run out on a wing. Jarman out of the air. Kicks toward Lepich. The punch away. Ray right Bottom got right it down to and go. the running Canelli. And they are away on the outer side. Creswell. How far is he run? Down the line. Spearing ball, Schneider. Can't quite trap it this time. Under it, McGrath caught the tackle. Still with the ball, and the umpire will bounce. Well, Darren Creswell just uh, testing the umpire's patience, but you're right, Dermot. Uh, Ty Canelli, when he gets alone and goes off like that, that's when the Sydney Swans in uh, this era appear to be at their best. It's been a while. Hart, McRae, great tackle, Schneider. Ball coughed up, and Hart goes for the boundary. And the umpire says, just toss it in. <laughs> well, that fan wasn't happy. Having a double bird. Was he saying it was that's twice <laughs> they've done that? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's pretty lucky actually uh, not yeah. to give a free kick away. Ball back into play. Another big tackle laid. Ball comes out somehow. Williams caught by power. Fosdyke. Looping ball over the top. Kirk, can he keep it alive? No. Get another ball in. There's Voss getting some work on that car. Let a big quarter out of Paul Williams of Swansea. He was well held in the third quarter. Just uh, one kick. Had a couple of handballs, but just the one kick. And that's when he's had his most dangerous, when he's driving the ball long. Matthews has had this one for a while. Umpire said he didn't have an opportunity, nor did he dive on it. 
And we'll get another ball up on the wing. And you can hear the Sydney chant around this SCG, which is still bathed in sunshine. Power got in the way of the umpire then. Finally the bounce. Up flies White. Slaps it down it to Williams. Hammer to Fosdyke. High kick towards half forward. Chance for Jude Bolton to go up. Big fist by Johnson. And the ball out of play. Mel Michael just on the right hand side of screen. He's a loose man in defence. There's the disposals this mm. quarter 15 to 5. So they've actually controlled it, Sydney. Charman after the right contest gathers. Yeah. Kick awkward. Never running in a little nodding. Bradshaw's got it but in one hand. Dishes it oh, out. Boy. Johnson well played. They're away. Lappin through traffic. Runs himself into trouble. Hard caught for the good tackle. Well, the intensity's come back into the Swans tackling. Yes. yes. Now they're putting the pressure on the Brisbane ball carrier. And even guys like Nigel Lappin, great to the game. He was struggling to find uh, a layoff target. Big pack of players around this ball up. Goods against Charman. Lappin somehow gets it out of the pack towards half forward. Lepich, can he pounce here? Well Getting played. a toe on the ball was Barry. He left his man to go and help out. And he found the boundary line, Lepich and Saddington. A little bumping duel. It was an all or nothing bet there from Leo yeah. Barry because his man was going to be the uh, goal kicker had Lepic got there first. Lepic, the 99 best and fairest winner for the Lions. Still think the uh, Bolt and Lepic matchup just looks all wrong. Well, it's going to be crucial in this contest, perhaps. Lepic caught his heart by Ty Canelli. And we'll get another bounce just outside attacking 50 in Ackermanis. About to come on, replacing McGrath. Can he change his fortunes? Chris Scott over the top in the right contest. Black just overran it. Barry collected. Dished out a handball. Good slays almost a spear tackle. Oh, yeah, it was too. They're playing for keeps, these He's boys. Paying a free kick. For what? I, I reckon it is a dangerous tackle. I don't know what it's set in, our, set in our rule book. No, I don't, I don't know. But... Charman. I suppose it's a fair question. What was it yeah. for? High kick by Charman towards full forward. Lynch flies, gets a couple out of the contest. Goods. Good, Good <laughs> kick. One by the, Creswell. One of the local Sydney cameramen here suggests it was for a wedgie. Well, I'm not too sure that's in our rule book either. Barry wide. Out of bounds on the full. Let's have a look at it again. Much and picks up Ooh. half a wedgie. High kick towards full forward. Balls off hands. Canelli. Can he find the boundary line? Davis sees it out of play. And will get a ball in. Just because he was signed on at the tackle, he couldn't discount the fact that it was in the back. He got thrust forward on his head. Two to nine. Free kicks in favour of Brisbane since half time. Good does the rock work against Lynch this time. Matthews had a good game. Dangerous back into the corridor. Williams to Canelli. He's had a good season. Kicks toward Kirk. Half back flank. Coming through Lappin. Ball out of play. Time ticking away for the Lions. Two goals unanswered and they'd have the lead. Bradshaw loose. He's got Goods loose at full back and Bradshaw pushing out to try and make Goods accountable. Three yep. goals, I should Free say. Free kick. Yes, yeah, Saddington caught Sorry, the ball. Sorry, i correct myself there, Dermot. Three goals and answer that happily. Ten to two in free kick since halftime. Saddington caught the ball in the ruck contest. Tackled. Mm. A little handball, but spilt totally free. That is a free kick in the new rules. White inside 50. Coming hard at it. Lynch got it to Nodding. Can he get the goal away? Kicks it. And drives it through. They are two goals from the lead. Said at half time, Jared, he could be the kind of bloke who kicks three goals in a half of footy because he just gets the right matchups. There's so many big players, there's so much power in Brisbane that you've got a bloke around 190 centimetres, can Great mark runner. the ball, can run, thumping kick, and he gets a winger of you know a smaller stature week in, week out.
Notting has two goals in the second half. Bounce to restart play. Goods up against Charman. Black tries to get the all-important takeaway. Power, Hart. They do get the takeaway. High inside, 50. White back into the contest. Shawble looping ball over the top to Crouch. Creswell, Saddington, Maxfield. Back flank. Hasn't got a lot of long options. Hangs onto the ball. Now he goes long towards Hall. Bounces unkindly for him. Bradshaw. Brad Scott. From the boundary line, high to half, forward. Craig Bolton over the top of the fist. Maxfield, can he get a shepherd from Barry? In fact, he dishes it up to Barry, who takes it out. Well, Maxfield's over uh, attacking the ball. Notting staying on his wing, which is on the broadcast side of the ground. The interesting battle that's going on at both ends, though, is that Goods is floating across the, the Swans' half back line, and Bradshaw is the floater across the Brisbane half back line. Charman and Goods go at the right contest. Voss, some inspiration, but the handball didn't find the target. It found Crouch. Bounces across fullback. They have to go short. Brisbane are lined up behind them. It's turned it over. Hart spins around, kicks toward full forward. But it's off the side and only a behind. Not that short. Mm. No disposal short, that was. Yeah, but Brisbane now are just setting up down the line, playing the game they want. Can the Swans hang in there? They really, they need to kick another goal. And they Akermanis, can't just defend this league. Ekermanis has gone back to where it all started from. Back pocket. That's the back pocket. And that's where he made uh, first made an A for himself. Mm. And Lee Matthews' first year as coach. Lepich went to full back. Ackermanis to back pocket and their whole uh, club turned around. Maxfield long in from full back, Crouch. He won't He's bounce. a big influence. Terrible kick. And that might have an influence. Bradshaw. Well, they're in the middle if he turns and goes inboard. High kick. Voss has got about four to beat. Don't underestimate his ability to beat four. But Craig Bolton, Voss's old teammate, takes the mark at half back. I reckon Lepic against Bolton. Right in the goal square, Dermot is going to expose Bolton best. If you bring him out in that half-back line, his, his running power is going to at least uh, allow him to be effective. High kick, Bradshaw with a sit. Saddington couldn't bring the ball down. Kirk, great hands. Williams is away. Goes with the pass option. Hole! Oh! Had it for long enough. Well, I'll tell you what, there is so much potency. Once it gets forward to the centre, which hasn't been an easy task for them this quarter, Looked up then, Goods with his aerobic capacity had gone into the forward line. Bradshaw tried to pick him up on the on the drift through, as you call Jared. And you got a Lachlan against his opponent. Yeah, it's a multi-talented forward line. This one's got to start at the right goal post. We've seen them drift right to left. And he starts it out right, brings it back left. Barry Hall's got two. You coach that through. Yeah, a bit of local knowledge for Basil. <laughs> uh, it's never been any different on this ground. When the wind's coming uh, from that end, there's always a distinct swing from right to left. The Swans crowd think that perhaps they've got this victory sewn up. She's still far from the case. There's 16 points of difference. And that is the Sydney crowd singing, not the fat lady, by <laughs> any stretch of the imagination. Good bounce for the umpire. Approaching halfway through this final term, the takeaway to the Lions. Power threads a handball. White provides the shepherd. Oh. Well played, though, Saddington. He tied it up. And up by Kennedy will bounce. That had goal written all over oh. it, except for uh, a couple of slippages and Saddington getting his mid on it. The one thing they don't want here, Sydney, is for the immediate reply. Inside 50 for the Lions. Over the top, White with a hand on ball. Crouch again through traffic, but got it to McDonald to Ackermanis. He spins around as a free kick. Ackermanis goes long. It was almost a goal. Free kick will go to Crouch of the Swans. Set a half back. Brisbane Lions have won the last two premierships. That's There's a lot of damage they can do in ten and a half minutes of football.
Crouch. Jeez, Goes wide. Good. Goods. Waits down. Might snaffle it. Can't. Lepich on hands and knees. Tries to get it out. Craig Bolton thought he had it. Now Hart has with some space to run into. High kick towards the goal square. Davis. Getting back. Davis goes with the fist. Puts it through for a behind. Good support there because he'd done Shawble on the contest. Made all the body contact. Removed him. See, he's getting to that ball with the out contact there. Nick Davis, seven possessions for the day, one goal. He's got to do more, obviously, but uh, that was a pretty important punch. Got to hold it up here. Even come back to the other side. See the sway of the players, Brisbane, with that shot down the ground. See the sway straight down the line. They want you to kick down there. They've just got to find somebody on the other side of the ground to play on to. Jude Bolton just came there off the bench. Is. Leo oh, Barry oh. spots him, but can't hit him. And it's turned over. Well, you've got to take the risk. You have to take the risk. Don't worry about the decision making. It's just the exercising the skill. You still have to take the risk if you're to beat Brisbane. He'll kick this leg. <laughs> He'll make out he wants to pass it off. He is virtually in the gutter. That was an extraordinary blue box left in there. And he's been sensational. In he steps. Just inside the field of play. He loves it. Bends it back. That is a miracle. That was an extraordinary kick. Almost extraordinary as the one that preceded it. And leaping Leo, as Giotto somehow put it out of his mind. He got too much on it. It was a nightmare. He actually hit it pretty well, didn't he? He got, got some. He overclubbed it. Got some real, real kaboof into the ball. <laughs> hit it sweetly. When he wanted a mongrel, he came up with a superb kick. The lines are coming. We haven't yet ticked into time on final term. Ball. Got the knockdown. Hart just missed it. Power didn't. Powers through the middle. Gets it to Hart. With the takeaway to half forward. Lynch coming hard. Ball bounces badly for him. Voss tracks the tackle. Chips it over the top. Full forward. Left hitch. Didn't take the mark. Plays on. Can he kick the goal? Screws it around. He thinks he's got it. Oh, yes, he has. Oh, Jared Heal is called for it. I'd like to see Lepich in the goal square against. Bolton, he'll just overpower him. I actually thought it, it might just leave Lynch without anything to do on the ground because he can't play centre forward anymore, but he just overpowered him again. The bigger, stronger body was able to recover better. And that's it. That's simply it. Yeah, well, he's one of the best one-on-one -on -one players in the game. Up forward, we've seen him, uh, particularly at international rules level and uh, obviously at AFL level. He's just got those extra long hands. And a very talented man. It's Top. a three-point ball game. They did lead by 35 points, the Swans. From the ball up, Charman crashes. Big tackle laid by back. Kirk on Hart in the back. Goods has drifted back into the uh, defensive 50 now. Wide ball from Hart's boot. Chris Scott, Bradshaw, caught as he kicks. High ball, Goods getting back. Gets there. Look at that athleticism. <laughs> Still got it. If they go straight down the line here, and it's this, it, it would be panic stations, I know, and sometimes it's a safety. But you've still got to play the game that will beat Brisbane. You can't save it from here. Goes with a high kick to the outer side wing. Chance for the leap is good. Oh, no. Taken by Shawble. Stuck to the task today. Oh. He's got to quickly get back though and uh, release Adam Good Shawble. Jude Bolton on the wing. No point him being the loose man. There he goes. He's running across, and Goods has got to push into that forward line because that's where he's dangerous. Jude Bolton goes wide. Schneider takes the mark at half forward. Well, they've got to move it quickly. Brisbane will beat them if they allow them just to pack up. Paul leads to the pocket. Got away from Mal Michael. Now, wherever Michael O'Loughlin leads to, he's the only goal square player at the moment. He's going to run into the back of one of any. One of any five Brisbane Lions players. It's got to go short here, uh, Big Bustler. And he does look short. Look short into the pocket and the mark is taken. And half forward by Crouch. 
Is he's, he within range? Well, his last three kicks, at best, could be described as mongrels. No surprise to see him getting away from his opponent. Won the grand final sprint last year, Jared Crouch. Has some speed. Can he match it with accuracy? He should run round him. Because he'd be, uh, be, this is the best kick in AFL footy if he kicked a goal. Goes with a long... Jared Neely! He might be the hero! He's, he's done it. He's best kick ever. <laughs> and I'm not joking. That would be his most important kick in his career. I agree with you. I totally agree with you. <laughs> he would not have had a more important kick on his career. It's a wonderful kick, Dad, no matter how well you're kicking it for the day. Look at that. He oh. loves every second of it. They're singing again. They are. Jared Crouch finds the right moment to produce the best kick of his career. He's only kicked 22 goals in his career. And number 22, a memorable one. He's a bit of an unsung hero, Jared Crouch. He's uh, he rarely injured, and he's had another fine season tugging scalps. From the ball up in the middle, Lappin, still time for the Lions. He rolls it inside, 50, Lynch, Lepic. He's already kicked two this quarter, in the pocket, Great screws shot. it around, high oh. King oh. across the yes. face. Only a behind. I tell you what, that, I know he didn't kick the goal, but for a big man to be able to do that on the non-dominant side, running out to the boundary, is a fantastic effort to get it back to that, that sort of range. Usually fullbacks finish their career in the other end, but I think Leper may be the, be the opposite. <laughs> Canelli kicks to himself, goes long, Saddington sat under it and took it. He's got Bolt not in the centre of the ground, if he can get there quick enough. Now they gobble him up now. Chris Scott just sat far enough off Bolton to try and tempt the kick. Eight points. That's what they're defending. Brisbane could score that in a heartbeat. Just ticked into time on. Final turn to the outer side. Ball bounces virtually on the line. And out of bounds. Let's go down to Anthony Mithin. Big week for Jared Crouch. Uh, earlier in the week, he's a uh keen horse racing fan he checked the fields saw a horse called Longmire running at Wangaratta on Tuesday five bucks each way got up paid $171 the win <laughs> John Longmire of course one of the assistant coaches under Paul Roos at the Swans to the outer side and Ken Nelly well he said that Ackermanis has got the four-leaf clover tattoo on the side of his shoulder but the Irish eyes are smiling tight Canelli gets it to Saddington and now Jude Bolton. 45 possessions to 37 in this final quarter for Sydney. So they're winning the ball, sharing it around. They just have, they have to keep going short on Brisbane. They're just setting up down the line here. There is one, two, three Brisbane Lions players ready to just float in and spoil this ball. Bolton high, top of the square. It's a mark to Bolton! You just cannot replace a contested mark, can you? They are worth their weight in goal. It's probably the most valuable statistic in league football. A contested mark inside forward 50. And you, you know why he's taken that? Because he saw Bo McDonald down there ready to come down and spoil the ball on any other contest. And ball, hall, and, uh, ball. ball was up the ground and thought, well, I'd better go down there and stand next to him just to make sure he's accountable. And he's marked it. He can just about shut the door. It'll be some sort of comeback from here, but after watching the Magpies get out of jail last night, uh, you'd never write Brisbane off. But uh, I think Sydney now will play slightly different football. They've, uh, they've released the mental shackles and uh, they look to have worked themselves into a uh, magnificent position. Magnificent footy from the Sydney Swans. And the Brisbane Lions are pulling everything out here. They've dragged Adam Goods back into the back line. 
We're into the Brisbane Lions forward line. They just have to hold on now. They've got enough oh. on the board, the Swans. Ball won the kick out, won the hit out after kicking the goal. Jude Bolton had a great afternoon. Full forward, Schneider flew high. Picked off by Johnson. Half. Half back flank. Chris Scott calls for it. Short gets it. Voss has only had two possessions this quarter. He's in line here. Gets it. Loops the handball back to Hart. Now power. Wants Lappin. Has it on. Goods. Good tackle. Turns it over. Kennelly back to Goods. Now the spare man is about to get caught. Good tackle by power. Jude Bolton caught by Chris Scott. Ball still alive. Almost a push on Goods. And the umpire will bounce. Adam Goods. Magnificent season for him continues. Jarman, boundary line. And time ticking away for the Lions. This would be a brilliant victory for the Swans on the back of last week's sensational win in Melbourne. Haven't been beaten in the season yet. Only the one draw. Back into play. Big thump, power, Canelli. Half held was power. Flat. Flat. Half inside 50. Goods gets back. Oh, the Goods train. It was coming hard. And they couldn't beat him. And he's kept the Swans on the rails. He's wide down. Maxfield. They've got the loose man. Saddington's there. They can't get it to him. Cut off by Johnson. Maybe still time. Living ham all over the top. Brad's got Johnson. Too far out to score. Chip pass. Lynch. Is within range. Doesn't know how much time left, Alistair Lynch. He's kicked three and four. Would see the door open again. There's your angle. Starts at left. Can't bring it back enough. It's a behind. That just should be enough. They should be able to control this and wind the clock down for uh, some time. And then I think I read something in the paper that, uh, last week. I think it was Greg Gorman, the age, said that Paul Roos is perhaps the first ever popularly elected coach. <laughs> and uh, this victory, I think, validates that decision to elect Paul Roos as coach. Started off uh, slowly this season after the first round win against Carlton. And uh, he's got them playing some sort of brand of footy here. Kennelly and Maxfield team to get it to the outer side, but Hart steals. Scott tried to find White. Leo Barry, who's had a brilliant game too. Halfback goes with a long kick. Swans have got the numbers. Getting back power. Fist on ball. Shawball can see Williams free. Gets it to him. Williams looks around. Kicks inside 50. Oh, Lachlan. He started it. He might finish it. Hell is marked at 2 minutes 21 remaining. Half the importance here will be how much time he gobbles up. Like, that's 10 seconds now. If he can take up a minute and a half, two minutes here. If he kicks a goal, it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't at all. Let's go down to Anthony Miffin. Well, there's no excuse for the players not to know how much time left because the board is showing the Channel 9 feed, showing the countdown clock, and they are all aware that it, there's under two minutes left. It all started with Michael O'Loughlin. Three goals in the opening term. He's kicked four. Two weeks ago, he was out of form. O'Loughlin's back. So are the Swans. One and a half minutes and Paul Roos, he can say the best win of his coaching career. The best. I just get, get reminded of two years ago when Lee Matthews said about the dominant Essendon team, if, the, if they can bleed, you can kill them. Well, Sydney Swans have certainly proved that Brisbane can bleed and be killed off today. The Sydney chant rings around the SCG. It'll be the Brisbane Lions' first loss of the season. Charman out of the air, knocks it down, but again the takeaway. Chris with the hole, couldn't take the mark. No, Spins around, boy. chips it to Williams, he can hold it up. Not since 1998 has the Swans beaten Brisbane 
on the SCG. They're going to do it today. Michael Voss, he's been crook all week. He's had calf problems in the second half. Three possessions in this last quarter. Just couldn't do what he does so many times and lift his team. Paul Williams, once again, a, an exceptional game in the middle of the ground. 21 disposals. Less than a minute remaining. A sensational win coming up for the Swans. Paul Williams. 2001 best and fairest lines them up for some icing on the cake across the face. It won't be a goal marked on the line. Brennan. It's been an amazing couple of games by Sydney. Three wins in a row and all of a sudden there's a new exciting team in the competition. There is and we, many of us had them way down the end of the ladder, 14th, 15th, 16th in our predictions, which means nothing, <laughs> I might add, but suddenly you're looking at a forward line that can kick a winning score against the reigning premiers. Well, I think it's fair to say that at the start of the season there weren't that many stars. All of a sudden Goods is one of the stars of the comp. We know Barry Hall is the potential and he's playing great footy. Mikko Lachlan is rediscovering his form. Paul Williams <laughs> remains an underrated player, albeit one of the best midfielders in the comp. And this bloke's growing in stature week after week. As is Ty Keneally, but wait for it. What a win. 19 points to the Sydney Swans. They've upended the reigning premiers. And there is not a person in the house who isn't on their feet. The Sydney Swans have been emphatic today. They came out, played a game style that the Brisbane Lions couldn't get a grasp on. There's Marcus Ashcroft playing his 300th game for the Brisbane Lions. Great Anthony Mithen has a man who kicked five goals today and starred Michael O'Loughlin. Was the star of the show, Michael O'Loughlin. They came at you. What a test against the Premiers. We all thought that the pressure might be all too much, but you were able to withstand it and go along to a famous victory. Uh, it's been great. The uh, last couple of weeks have um, really knuckled down and played some good footy. Um, uh, we knew they were going to come out. They're, made, they're the best team in the competition, so we had to be switched on. and Everything we've done preparation-wise has been fantastic. You've really sprung to life to your best game of the season so far? Yeah, it's good. Uh, just got to get a bit more fitness back. And, um, yeah, it's, I'm just glad to get a couple of goals, get some confidence a bit. Well, what's with the Sydney side? Suddenly, last two weeks you've beaten the two running grand final sides, Collingwood and now Brisbane, the big scalp. Uh, you might be a bit better than most people thought. Well, a lot of people did write us off, so um, I mean, we're not worried about that, but uh, we just go out and, and try and do our best every week. And, uh, you know, today was nice. It was a great game. Happy Mother's Day, Mum, to my Nana and Jen. <laughs> but good on you, Michael. <laughs> he didn't want another one, with though. He wasn't going to give you another question there. He was magnificent. Five goals. And Jared Healy, this is just, we, we talked a few seconds ago about how good Sydney's forward line is. Brisbane Lions have gone inside their attacking 50 52 times. Sydney only on 37. So it just shows you the potency they have up there. And Big Barry Hall, who... Well, he ran the show last year, only kicked two. Yeah, and he's uh, playing that job out in that half-forward line, but uh, they're so interchangeable, so flexible, and they're all tall. But one man who kicked uh, perhaps the best goal in his whole career is with Mitho. Go ahead, Mitho. Uh, Crouch, uh, the boys called it up there. This will be the best kick of your career if you can slot this one through. I don't know about that, but it was nice to, uh, nice to kick one that, uh, that went all right. I kicked a few coming out of the fence, which floated a bit, so it's good to get on the one and, and finally kick over 50 metres in my life. And early on in the game, you were just too good for Jason Akamanis. You frustrated him out of things. I think it was just uh, the boys upfield in the midfield were just uh, putting lots of pressure on. So the ball did come near Aki. It was on the ground. It wasn't perfect out, perfect lace out. So it was great to have the boys putting pressure on him upfield. And you've got Johnny Longmire, or Longmire, the horse to thank for a $1,000 collector in the week. Yeah, it was very nice. And, uh, four of those omen, pu omen punters get on and Longmire gets up. Well done, Jared. Congratulations. Jared Crouch kicked a timely goal there. 
Chia Chia the red and the white is into its second replay already here at the SCG and I dare say we'll hear those 22 men sing it on the inside of the club rooms after the break. It's the Sydney Swans victorious 15-8-98 over the Brisbane Lions 11-13-79.